Okay, so first of all, uh, just walk me through your emotions. You know, at full time, must be such a relief after. Um, I think your left back had a cramp, so you guys were down to nine men. You were really like fighting at the end. Um, like they flash across in front of goal. Anything could happen. Uh, first of all, coach, and then come to you. Um, what were your, just like your emotions at full time? Um, it's incredible. You know, we, we lost two of our best players in this in the last game. You know, one of our defenders who played every game this season we were missing, so we were against it. And to get the win with all the adversity we faced, you know, going down to ten men and still to be victorious at the end is is incredible. It's going to be a, a victory that they remember for a long time to come. Yeah, it was just crazy, crazy. We just had to defend, leave everything on the field, and and the outcome was great, great sensation. And then Benjamin, how did it feel to score a goal in the final? It's great. It was a great experience. It was just an amazing moment. It's just relief. Insane. Did you think at the start of the tournament that you would be uh, lifting the, the golden ball? I know we were going to do great. I know we were going to get far, but winning this was, was, was incredible. This team is phenomenal. You know, they're the number one team in the country for a reason, and uh, they proved it. They've earned their right to be respected alongside any, any player in any club. And, you know, I hope this young man. I hope he's not with us for much longer because his performance in this tournament was outstanding. You know, I hope somebody comes along and takes him to, to, to the level that he belongs at. Yeah, so like playing for a USL League Two Academy, like what's that what's it like to, to represent, you know, in the, a relatively like smaller club compared to the MLS teams and like um, I don't know, yeah, what's it like? But like you're representing your community at the same time, Weston. Feels great. It's which is amazing. It's just it just boosts you to try to get to the next level, which is MLS or championship. It's really great. And then uh, obviously it was a a Florida matchup. What do you guys think makes Florida so strong to have? You know, like besides like your Inter Miami or Orlando, like you have like the two like the two of your teams were like really phenomenal. What do you think that says about Florida soccer? Florida soccer has so many talented players, you know, it's such a melting pot of different ethnicities and different cultures and different countries. It just makes the game so, so authentic, you know, such an authentic game. So many players in our, in our team are from different destinations and being able to bring them all together and bring the passion they bring from, you know, some players from Argentina, some from Colombia, some from Venezuela, being able to put that all into one big melting pot and, and bring success on the pitch, you know. Everybody's watching Copa America at the moment and to bring that passion onto the pitches is exactly what the game is about. Are you guys, is your team primarily made up of kids like from Weston? Yeah, everybody's from in and around Weston. You know, some of these boys have been in the program now for four or five years. Um, you know, they're going to go on to big things soon. They're going into U17 next year. I hope everybody was watching and taking notice of some of these players. You know, I hope they're not in the U17 next year and they're going on to, to big, big things. Well, we actually lose a little bit because kids from us, like two of our players on our team, one's going to be going to Inter Miami, one's going to be going to Orlando. So uh -huh. we're actually a central hub that those MLS teams in, in Florida actually come and pull from. If you look at Inter Miami, the Cubs probably lost over 70 players from their program over the past couple of years to, to Inter Miami. So, you know, we continue to refill and build and grow and, and try to send players on to the next level. Uh, can you just talk about also, um, I thought some of the other, obviously besides you, Benjamin, some of the other standout performers was uh, number 15, the left back, and number seven, Nicholas something. Preciado. Yeah, Preciado. He scored a banger. That yeah, was yeah. a hard shot. Um, yeah, can you just talk about their performances? These, these players have talent, and what's something that we've been able to work on is to get them to believe in themselves and believe that they're good players. And I think that was the difference in this tournament. As we went on and we got more wins, they started to believe that they belong. They started to believe in themselves, and, and their, their, their talent came through. You know, Sammy, the left back, he's just started to play left back this season. And you can see he's phenomenal in how he's playing. Nico Preciado, you know, he's a different character. He likes to drive forward with the ball. He has a lot of talent, confidence player. But they came up big today in the biggest game. They performed to the maximum potential. And both their defender, you know, Nico's a very offensive player. And the defensive effort they had to put in today for us to get this room was phenomenal. And I cannot praise his work ethic and his mentality enough. Benjamin, at the end, you kind of, I think it was you, you pinged a really long switch. Uh, to the left back and it was a perfect ball and then you ended up getting it back um, and then like even after that you had a chance where you it was like on the counter attack um, and like you you uh, showed a little bit of skill but you kind of looked exhausted can you just talk about how hard it was towards the end of the game to you know like keep the team going yeah it was just it was just tired legs fatigued 
I just have to keep on driving forward and mentally I was I was there I was in the game so I have to push forward and try to get try to get that distance away from them because they were coming back so it's just it's just mental strength I just have to push through what was it like playing center attacking mid and striker once you went down to time man doing it all I don't know I, it was it was crazy I don't just, know where he gets the energy from and the, it's just incredible incredible to see him running out there today he understands what the game is about you know it, phenomenal performance today from Benjamin